Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome if it's your first time here. My name is Mal and I am the owner and maker of Made by Manny and Mal. In today's Tumblr tutorial, we are going to be making a super bright and fun checkerboard tumbler. I'm going to show you a new little trick for accomplishing a checkerboard pattern. I'm really excited about it. I can't wait to do it over and over and over again. So I hope you guys enjoy it. If you like the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button down below and make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you don't miss any of my new videos. As always, I'll have a full supply list down below in the description box. I'll also have some discount codes for you as well as links to all of my social media pages, my Facebook group and my exclusive mentorship group, MBMM Elite. This one was a lot of fun to put together and definitely put me in the mood for spring and bright colors. So I hope you enjoy it. And I think that's it. Let's go. So we're gonna jump right into the design here. I've already got my tumbler glittered and ready to go. I had a white spray painted 30 ounce skinny tumbler. I took a little bit of Love Lace from Peachy Olive Glitters, mixed that into about 30 milliliters of epoxy, applied it to my cup, and now we're ready to jump right into our checkerboard pattern. So for our checkerboard, we're going to use a plaid template. I got this from lbcreates.com and I cut it out of this really bright and sparkly transparent lime green glitter vinyl. This is from Craft Haven. So I cut that out. I sized it to fit the 30 ounce skinny and now I'm going to apply it to my tumbler. I do want to add a little bit of a glittered bottom to my tumbler. So I'm going to tape off like the bottom third to a quarter. I actually ended up making this section bigger. You'll see a little bit later, but I'm just gonna tape that off and then I'm going to cut my template down to size and we will put it right on our cup. Now, like I said, I am using a transparent glitter vinyl. So this is almost going to look like we actually glittered the cup with real glitter just a little bit, um, but you don't have to use glitter vinyl. You don't have to use transparent vinyl. You can do this technique with literally any type of vinyl you want. You can use opal, you can use regular, just like permanent vinyl. It'll look good in whatever style you want to go for. I applied a piece of transfer tape to the entire plaid or checkerboard template and you can see that I've got a little bit of excess transfer tape on either side of my vinyl and I'm going to use that to help me make sure that this is placed straight and correctly on my cup. So once I have it in the position I want it, I'm going to keep that excess transfer tape adhered to my cup and then I'm going to pull back a little bit of the vacuum from the vinyl and then I'm just going to smooth it onto my cup. I'm using this giant scraping tool from the Bowen. This is probably the best thing that I have received lately. It is so perfect for applying these big sheets of vinyl to your tumblers. So you can see there, I'm just gonna use it to push the vinyl onto the cup, pushing the backing paper away in the process. Once I get to a point where I'm kind of close to that other end, I'm gonna remove that transfer tape so I don't overlap anything. And then I'm going to pull away the transfer tape. Because we have an epoxied surface, this vinyl is going to stick down really, really well to this. So when you go into this next step, keep that in mind, just be really careful as as you remove these pieces of vinyl. So essentially what we're going to do to create our checkerboard pattern, this is super duper easy. We're just going to peel every other square and we're gonna alternate that as we move down, like each row down the cup. So starting at this very top row, I'm just gonna pick one square, pull it up, and then every other square I'm going to lift up. I'm using my needle nose tweezers here to help me kind of get these lifted. Again, just be really careful as you pull these up. You don't wanna lift up any of your epoxy or anything like that, so just be careful. And you can see there on the cup that my seam did not meet up and that's because when I sized the template, I didn't account for the layer of epoxy that I added. So just make sure that when you cut your template, you measure your cup width after you apply your epoxy so you can ensure that you have the right size template. What I'm doing to mitigate that little gap it's just taking a little bit of that extra template that I had cut off earlier and I'm kind of puzzle piecing that seam together. So I'm just meeting the squares up, cutting off any excess, 
and kind of just making it work. So I'm going to go through and continue to remove every other square alternating and you can see the checkerboard come together. Like I said, this is so easy and really gives off a super cool result. I am so obsessed with this and I want to do it on every cup now. So once I had everything peeled up, I'm going to go right into another coat of epoxy. Into this coat, I'm going to mix in a little bit of Monica 7. This is from Peachy Olive Glitters and it's an extra fine glitter. Any extra fine glitter that you have will work. But what I'm trying to do here is give all of my tumbler the same kind of glittery sheen to it, the same kind of sparkle. Once that coat of epoxy is cured, we'll be ready to move on to our water slide decals and glittering the bottom of our tumbler. So for the decal on this cup, we're going to use clear water slide. This is an image I created. It is available in my website and I will have it linked down below in the description box. I cut the image out twice because I'm going to need to layer them on top of each other so that they really pop off of this checkerboard background. So I printed them out, I let it dry a little bit, and now I'm going to seal the water sides with three coats of Gloss Clear Spray from Rust-Oleum. In between each coat, I wait about 20 to 30 minutes. So now moving into the bottom portion of our cup, I wanna glitter this and I want to match the glitter color to the flowers that we have going on in the decal. So I'm going to, of course, make a custom glitter mix. So I'm taking three glitters from Peachy Olive Glitters. I have Sweetie Pie, Pinky Promise, and All Pink. And I'm just going to, I didn't measure these, I'm just going to put them all together until I kind of have a tone that matches those florals. So I'm going to base paint the bottom of my cup with this coral acrylic paint. This is the Delta Ceram Coat brand, my favorite. I mixed it with a little bit of Mod Podge. I don't love using Mod Podge, but it dries fast and... It's, you know, pretty easy to work with, I guess. So I'm gonna put that on my cup, glitter the bottom, remove my tape, and then I'm gonna set this aside and let it dry for about 45 minutes. And once it's dry, I'm going to seal that section of glitter with the sealer that I use all the time. I use a 50-50 mix of water and the Crystal Act glitter glue, and I'm just gonna put it on with a brush, as you can see here. Let that dry for two hours, and once that's dry on the bottom, we'll be ready to apply our water slide decals. So again, my water slides have been sealed with three thin coats of the clear gloss spray from Rust-Oleum. They're totally dry, so I'm gonna cut around all of the edges from the water slide to ensure that they slide off the backing easily. I'm gonna put that water slide into a pan of room temperature, lukewarm-ish water. You don't wanna use cold water, but you also don't want it to be too hot. So room temp to like a very light warm is the perfect temperature for water slides. I'm gonna leave it in the water until it is easily sliding off the backing. That's how I'll know that it's ready. So I'm just going to apply it to the cup and I'm gonna use a coffee filter to smooth it out, get rid of any water bubbles or wrinkles or anything like that. You can use tissue paper, you can use paper towels, whatever you have will work pretty fine. Um, once I've got the water slide in place where I want it, I'm going to take a silicone makeup brush and really brush out all of the excess water that's in there. Now, because we're going to layer another water slide on top of this, this doesn't need to be completely dry. I'm using the silicone brush to really get rid of any excess water that's underneath the water slide, but the top layer of your water slide can still be a little bit wet. That will actually help you when you go in to apply the water slide on top of it. So I'm going to do the same process, put it in my water, um, get it ready to apply to the cup, and I'm really going to take my time here and make sure that this is lined up perfectly. If it's not lined up perfectly, it's going to just end up looking like a poorly printed, like blurry image. So make sure that everything is lined up perfectly. And then you can take that silicone makeup brush again, brush out all the excess water, and then take a dry coffee filter or paper towel, whatever, and really brush out all of the remaining water, getting it as dry as you can. And then you'll set your cup aside for about an hour to let it dry. Then you'll add two coats of epoxy. Once your second coat has been cured, for at least 12-ish hours, you can go in and do all of your sanding. After sanding, be sure to wash your cup with either rubbing alcohol or dish soap and water. And now we're ready to move into all of our remaining vinyl work. So for the striping on our cup, I'm going to use my favorite vinyl. This is the Champagne Gold Texture Metallic Vinyl from TechRap Craft. And I'm going to add one strip to the middle section where the vinyl and the glitter meet. And then I'm going to add another strip of the same size right underneath that one just to add a little bit of extra detail. And now I'm going to go in and add my little daisy to the 
top portion of our cup. So this is a little daisy that I put together. I will have this file available for free in my Facebook group, MBMM Makers Community. So if you're not in my Facebook group, I will have it linked down below in the description box so you can join the group and get this little flower file for free and be in a group of a bunch of amazing makers. You can share your work, ask for tips and advice and things, and just be part of a really great Tumblr group. So anyway, I'm going to put these flowers, as you can see, all over my Tumblr. This is totally up to you how much you want to fill your cup up with these flowers. I really like the look of this, especially with the checkerboard as the background. So I added a lot of them. I just cut them out of Oracle 651 white vinyl. And for the center of the flower, I used the same champagne gold textured metallic vinyl that we used for the striping. And I cut the flowers out in three different sizes. I just wanted to make it look a little bit more dimensional and give it a little bit more visual interest. So once I had my flowers on, I went in with my final two coats of epoxy. So here's the final result. I really love how this cup turned out. I love the almost like nostalgic vibe that this has, um, the bright colors. It just makes me feel happy. And I really hope that you guys enjoyed the tutorial as well. If you did, make sure you hit the thumbs up button down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my new videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay, love you. Bye.